All right, well, here we are. I went for a hunt. Um, no joy. Went for a hunt two days ago and looking for another stag and another stag, a stag, and um, no joy. And then I lost a trout, but the wind came up, so I gave up. So I think, um, yeah, I think here I am up at the bridge where the Spring Creek is. As you can see, the river is absolute um, dirty again. Thanks for the downpour we had recently. <sighs> what a drama. So yeah, I take my up close and personal gun and clear it. Buckshot, baby. But keep it a little bit ready because one never does know when a stag may jump in front of you. But I think we'll um, come over and have a little nosy here and see if anybody. So the river's dirty, but the Spring Creek, of course, is always clear. And it's a little bit high because the lake's high. And there's a little one there. Basically, oop, there's another one just in the middle of the dirty in the dark. In the clear, sorry. That's two. There's a third fish. Nothing special. There's three fish right in front of me there. The bigger one chasing the little one out. And there's my spot, buddy. So there's a few fish here. Uh, yeah, what the hell? I'm gonna chuck my uh, chuck my fly rod together. Have a little flick here, and then maybe um, yeah, go up the creek and see what we can spot. All right, well I'm set up. I've got on um, a gold rib ribbed hare's ear wee wet, which I've tried to catch fish on um, last time out and failed, and the time before that and failed. Not failed, just missed the fish both times. So I've seen a couple of fish moving around here, so I'll just get ready and make a plan. Oh, there's one out there. It's quite a ways out, so I'm just going to wet my fly a little bit. Alright, I can see them, so I may as well put it in there and swing it by them. Oh, I don't think he liked that at all. Oh, he liked it. Oh, <laughs> sweet. <laughs> he just didn't see it the first time. Oh, yeah, you got to love it, eh? Got to love it. Boy, did he hammer it, eh? He didn't see it when it first went through there. He sort of swam away like he was spooked. And came back and as soon as they started twitching it, he just nailed it. Hopefully we saw that. Woohoo! The gold ribbed hare's ear we wet. Tick! Oh, I suppose I gotta land them to count the fly. Losing them or breaking them off on a fly does not count. It's ticked off. Speaking of ticked off, this guy's a little bit ticked off. But I think he's tiring. Nice little rainbow. Yeah, baby. The gold ribbed hair's ear wee wet fly has been ticked. Where is it? Oh, that was very lucky. Um, fell out of his mouth in the net. We'll see you later, buddy. Have a good day. I am looking for a, um, you know, if I get a nice, bigger, fatter rainbow, I'll take home and put on the smoker and have one in a long time. It's been that kind of year. Yeehaw, there you go. Gold ribbed hair's ear, wee wet. Tick. Well, I moved in for a closer look, and there's one in there it seems to be feeding. And no, he didn't take it either.
Amazing, look at these fish in here. Such a clear spot. Why don't you come up and look at that fly? I don't understand why. I refuse to take no for an answer. But no, it is, I'm afraid. Okay. Well, I got these two jokers coming back. They've got to be spooked. He's not looking up. No, he's not looking up at that fly at all. He probably looked up and saw me. I'm too close. All right, that's it. I'm going to have to change up. Oh, oh that's what I said. I've got to change up. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, 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 that was dumb luck. That was dumb luck. That was dumb luck. Hey, it's not the biggest of fish, but it's a little rainbow. And I got him on the Green Whale's Glory Wee Wet. Thank you very much. Happy. And just like that, he came up and nailed it. And all the other times, he didn't even look at it. It's funny how these fish do these things. There we go. All right, come here, buddy. There we go. A little rainbow on a Greenwell's Glory Wee Wet. Wiggling just under the surface. It's perfect. My hemo stats there, but I think I can get him. Oh, see ya, buddy. All right. So that's two new patterns knocked off. So I've got my um, deer hair cicada black with that sort of olive wing and the uh, rubber lengths. Now, it's really late. What are we, the 20-something of March, 23rd or 4th? Um, I'll put a little ginks on there to give some floating. There we go, that'll do. Um, cicadas this time of year, normally are long gone by probably a couple of weeks. I can hear some now, and the reason is we haven't had summer yet. We've just had this cold, wet summer, and it's, you know, three or four weeks into autumn. And um, the cicadas are still singing. So we had this little hypothesis that um, that cicadas, it's not just photo period that dictates their life cycle. It's uh, also the number of chirps they can do. Because when it's cold and wet, they don't chirp. But when it's, but when it's sunny, they do. And so here they, you can hear them going with some crickets in the background. So, um, yeah, no, all good times. I'm gonna put this bad boy on. I don't know if they're looking up for these things. Those trout we just seen, there are a couple of rising. Those two big ones I saw didn't seem to be feeding, but I'm gonna spot one and I'm gonna slap this big old cicada somewhere near them and see what the heck happens. I know there's fish hanging out just over the, over the lip, so I'm, I'm gonna, just throw one in blind and get all my stuff out of the just throw one in blind over that little drop off there quite a lip I don't like to fish blind ever but I was just putting it in the water I'll sign off for a minute until I um, sort of spot a fish. Maybe I'll. Oh, there's one out there. I gotta be pretty spooked in here after two fish get pulled out. It's 
So no random looks. Oh, there's a fish coming up river here. So I've got one to target, right? No, he wasn't even, even thinking about that. Haha, <laughs> that scared him away. So I guess that tells a story, doesn't it? Yeah, all right. There's a couple of fish here feeding. I don't know how I'm going to do this without somebody paddling for me. There's a lot of water in here. where that back itty is and get stuck in. Look at that guy right in front of me. Right in fucking front of me. Here he comes. There we go, first cast. <laughs> it wasn't even a cast. <laughs> oh, that's great. Gotta hold this on here. Oh man, this is such a mess. Sticks all over the boat. What absolute mess. Oy, boy, oy, oy, oy. I'll take some of this in. My anchor right now is my knee on this branch. That was cool. And it wasn't even the fish that I saw. He come he was coming over to eat it and another one shot up and nailed it. So that was cool. So they didn't even think twice about that. That was deer hair, black deer hair cicada with the rubber legs. Um, he gobbled it. Let's have a quick look. Nice rainbow, nothing, nothing huge, but um, he might be one. Oh, geez, now that I've knocked him around. My son wants, likes to eat food, but there's the um, deer cicada plaque <laughs> in the mouth of a rainbow trout. And now I'm going to dispatch him and because I've let him flop around too much. He will go to good tucker. So we pop their head, pop a gill, watch him bleed. Dead quickly and bled out. And there is one beat up black deer hair cicada with rubber legs. See the little rubber legs sticking out? Very cool. All right, happy boy. Mission complete. All right, it's no monster, but Bo really likes, no, I'm fine. Bo really likes um, trout. He doesn't want to catch it, but he, he certainly is happy to eat it. He doesn't want to fillet it either, but it's all right. That's part of my uh, my job. I'll quickly do a fillet. I'm not even sure if the GoPro's in the right place, but there we go. How I do it. And he actually, well, of course we do it, try to do it boneless. And um, Bo actually really likes the skin. Oh, it's a white fleshed one, so it's, eh, whatever. It's not skinny or anything, but it's not that nice sort of orange flesh you think you want to have. We'll see what Bo says about the flavor. Get a few scales off, although he likes the scales, so it's no drama. Get those center bones out. Oh, 
Oops, I missed one there. You cheeky fellow. Bones there. Here, Bowie is your first piece. Your clips are way too long. No one's gonna watch it. They're yeah. gonna click off. Okay. Their attention rate's shit because okay. you don't. Do you know how to catch trout or fill at them? No. No. But do you like to eat them? Sure. Okay, well, yeah. eat it. Is it good? Yep. <laughs> there you go.